Hi, very good evening students. Welcome to video classes. I hope you all are fine. Right, all of you stay home, stay safe, learn well. Okay, so in last class we learnt sources of food, different sources of food. Right, okay, so students, in this class I am going to teach you components of food. Okay, so now I am going to teach you what are the different components present in food okay so we know right all living organisms need food okay so but they show variations in kind of food items they eat however these food items are alike in one important way they all contain nutrients okay students now we are going to know nutrients okay what is nutrients so the substances needed for growth and proper functioning of the body is called nutrients okay so these nutrients are the substances that living beings need to live and grow okay so the energy from nutrient is the fuel that is used by the body for various activity okay so different kinds of activities these nutrients are used for growth and general upkeep of the body okay students next we are going to know types of nutrients there are five main types of nutrients first one is carbohydrate fats proteins vitamins and minerals okay so totally there are five main types of nutrients carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals okay students next we are going to know about carbohydrates for our body carbohydrates are the main source of energy okay so sugar and starch are the two important carbohydrates found in our food okay students next we are going to know about fats like carbohydrates fats also provides energy to us okay so they are considered as a storehouse of energy okay but fats provide almost more amount of energy as compared to carbohydrates students next we are going to know about proteins these proteins are the main building materials of cells inside our bodies okay so these proteins provide our body with materials of cell growth and uh, protein repair the damaged and worn out tissues students next we are going to know about vitamins so vitamins are certain nutrients that are required by our body in small amounts okay so they are substances with no energy value but they needed every day for achieving good health and proper growth okay most vitamins are made by green plants they are found in many foods but there is so much of food that contains all the vitamins to fulfill our requirements of all the vitamins we need to eat a variety of food okay students next we are going to know about minerals minerals too like vitamins are needed in small quantities and have no energy value for the growth and development of the bones and teeth growth of cells and the formation of red blood cells minerals are very important to us they provide materials for the same okay so they also play important role in proper functioning of the 
different organ systems like circulatory system and nervous system okay students next we are going to know about balanced diet so different food items contain different nutrients to get all the nutrients that are necessary for our body we have to eat a variety of food items right okay so a diet that contains sufficient quantities of all the nutrients that are required for proper growth and functioning of the body is called as a balanced diet okay students next we are going to know about food pyramid and a food pyramid is a diagrammatic representation of different groups of food in the form of a pyramid okay so it determines the relative proportion of food from different groups that should be included to form a balanced diet okay students next we are going to know about deficiency diseases improper intake of nutrients over a long period of time leads to the deficiency of these nutrients in our body okay so the deficiency of essential nutrients in our body may cause certain diseases call it deficiency diseases okay students next we are going to know about malnutrition different kinds of foods supply different amounts of energy a very activity of the body uses some amounts of energy right malnutrition is a improper diet in which nutrients are either not enough or too much leading to health problems is called malnutrition okay so malnutrition may be caused by both under nutrition and over nutrition also okay so students in this class we learned components of food right if you have any doubt ask in online session okay all of you should write it in your science class workbook okay thank you students